Have you ever seen a hummingbird? Only to realize, wait a minute, that's not a bird at all? Meet the hummingbird moth, the incredible insect that looks and flies just like its feathery namesake. But don't let your eyes fool you. This tiny creature is a master of disguise. Stick around, because at the end of this video, we have a fun trivia challenge to test what you've learned. Ready? Let's go! At first glance, the hummingbird moth can easily trick the human eye into believing it's a tiny bird. But despite the resemblance, this incredible creature is actually a moth, a member of the Sphingidae family, which is a group of strong and fast-flying moths, also known as sphinx moths. One of the reasons why people mistake them for birds is because of the way they move and feed. Hummingbird moths don't just flutter from flower to flower like regular butterflies. Instead, they hover in midair, flapping their wings at rapid speeds while extending their long, straw-like mouthpart, called a proboscis, to sip nectar from deep inside flowers. This is exactly how a real hummingbird feeds. And speaking of their wings, hummingbird moths have an impressive wing speed flapping them up to 85 times per second. That's fast enough to create a soft humming sound, much like the one you'd hear from an actual hummingbird in flight. Their ability to hover and move swiftly in all directions makes them one of the most agile flying insects in the world. Like all moths and butterflies, the hummingbird moth goes through a complete metamorphosis starting as a caterpillar before transforming into its final adult form. But what's interesting is that in their larval stage, these moths are often mistaken for pests. They're caterpillars, commonly called hornworms, due to the little horn-like spike on their tails, look very similar to the tomato hornworm, an insect known for devouring tomato plants. However, not all hornworms are destructive. Unlike their garden-wrecking lookalikes, hummingbird moth caterpillars prefer to munch on the leaves of plants like honeysuckle, snowberry, and dogbane, which makes them much less of a nuisance to farmers and gardeners. After they've grown big enough, these caterpillars burrow underground and form a pupa, where they undergo their transformation into the adult moth. Once they emerge, they take on their bird-like appearance and begin their incredible journey as expert flyers and nectar collectors. One of the most fascinating things about hummingbird moths is their ability to blend in with actual birds. This isn't just a coincidence, it's an evolutionary adaptation known as mimicry, which helps them avoid predators. Many animals, especially birds, love to feast on moths. But since the hummingbird moth looks and moves so much like a real hummingbird, many predators are tricked into thinking they're watching a fast-moving bird rather than an easy-to-catch insect. Their furry bodies, rapid wing beats, and even their color patterns contribute to this clever disguise. Different species of hummingbird moths have slightly different appearances. The snowberry clearwing, for example, has partially transparent wings and a golden yellow body, helping it blend in with sunlight. Meanwhile, the hummingbird clearwing sports green and reddish brown tones, making it look even more like an actual hummingbird when in motion. Unlike most moths, which are nocturnal and prefer to fly under the cover of darkness. The hummingbird moth is actually diurnal, meaning it is active during the daytime. This makes it much easier to spot than most other moths. 
and if you know where to look, you might just see one visiting flowers in a garden near you. These moths love nectar-rich flowers like bee balm, honeysuckle, phlox, and petunias. If you want to attract them to your garden, planting these flowers can help bring these little aerial wonders right to your backyard. And the next time you see a tiny, buzzing hummingbird darting from flower to flower, take a closer look. It might just be one of these fascinating insects. Now, it's time to see how much you've learned from today's episode. We've got three fun trivia questions coming up. Ready? Let's start. Question number one. What makes the hummingbird moth different from most other moths? The correct answer is B. It is active during the day. Most moths are nocturnal, meaning they only come out at night and are rarely seen in broad daylight. But hummingbird moths are diurnal, just like butterflies and real hummingbirds. This is one of the reasons why people so often mistake them for tiny birds. Their daytime activity makes them unique among moths and allows them to feed on the same flowers that butterflies and bees visit. Question number two. How does the hummingbird moth drink nectar from flowers? The correct answer is B. It uses a long straw-like proboscis. The hummingbird moth has a specialized feeding tool, a long flexible proboscis that works just like a straw. This allows them to reach deep into flowers and sip up nectar, much like how a real hummingbird uses its long beak. Because of this unique adaptation, these moths can visit a wide variety of flowers and play an important role in pollination. Question number three. Why do hummingbird moths look and fly like actual hummingbirds? The correct answer is A. To scare away predators. This is a classic case of mimicry, a survival strategy that helps animals avoid being eaten. By looking and moving like a real hummingbird, the hummingbird moth confuses predators into thinking it's a bird rather than an insect. Since birds aren't easy to catch, predators often ignore them, allowing these clever moths to fly safely from flower to flower. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution.